When you first enter a workspace in Workiva, you'll land inside of Home on the Recent Files tab. Since it shows you all the files you've recently used, it's completely normal to see nothing here if it's your first time logging in. In your list of experiences on the left, you'll find Files, the most common place to navigate. Here is where you can create files and folders in a way that makes the most sense to you. Often, people segregate by date or by use case type. You can create subfolders and rearrange, minimize, and maximize folders to adjust your view. Right-click any folders or files to see more options available, including opening, starring, deleting, controlling permissions, etc. In particular, this copy option is valuable when considering how you'll roll forward your quarter over quarter or month over month reporting. Copying the folder over, you can see more copy options like copying comments, attachments, or maintaining the links and connections. The Create menu allows you to start from scratch or use a template with the look and feel of a layout you love. Find more helpful templates from our Workiva Marketplace, easily accessible with the blue Marketplace icon. As you progress in Workiva, your Recent Files tab may get unruly, making it difficult to find what you need quickly. Starring files can keep you organized. Click the star next to any file to locate it in the Starred Files tab. When it's no longer relevant, simply click the star again to make it disappear from this tab. This left checkbox allows you to make adjustments to multiple files at once. Click the box and then use this top menu to open, move, or delete. Don't worry, if you accidentally delete something unintentionally, you can restore that file for up to 30 days from this trash tab. Simply select it and click restore and it puts it back into your files. If it's past the 30 day mark, you can reach out to support for help retrieving it. If you're looking for a specific file that's not in your recent files tab, you can use the search feature. If you can't remember the exact name, narrow down your search by clicking one of the categories. Finally, in this bottom corner, you'll find your name where you can adjust settings and sign out. Right below that is help. This handy purple check mark is the place to find support articles, submit requests, or just check out some cool new features.